Hey guys, this is going to be a really quick video on how to do an if statement where you're saying if the condition is not true, rather than if it is true. So let's learn how to do it. For starters, I'm going to make a new variable. We'll just call this test and we're going to set this equal to zero. And now we're going to get our if statement. We're going to go if it will do uh, test equals zero, then tooltip test uh, is zero else and there we go now I'm gonna add a sleep here at the bottom just so our tooltip stays on long enough for us to see it but now we have our if statement done so this says if our variable test equals zero we're gonna show this if otherwise show this pretty simple now this code works but sometimes you're not going to want to do it like this. Sometimes you're going to want to do it if test is not equal to zero. So you might want this instead. There are a lot of reasons why you might want the not condition to be first. It just, it could just depend. Uh, but in order to do that in an if statement, instead of doing if test equals equals zero, instead you would do the brackets like this. So you'd get those pointy brackets. You do the greater than and then the less than sign like this. And this is saying if test is not equal to zero, then do that. So let's go ahead and see here. It should say test equals zero because it'll, it'll go to the else, but let's see here. Test equals zero, cool. Now let's set uh, test to 10. Test is not zero, cool. So that's the video, pretty short. Pretty simple. I just wanted to teach you guys how this works because I believe I forgot to put it in the last video. Thanks for watching.